Yo, 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 what is up Halo community? So today is that day of the week where we check out what's in the weekly shop as well as the ultimate reward. So before we get into that, if you guys could hit that like button as well as hit that sub button as I would highly appreciate it. Uh, you know, we're trying to get to 1k here and I think we can definitely hit it. So if you guys could do me a solid and hit that sub and like, I'd really appreciate it. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get into this week's shop. So today is July 19th, 2022. Alrighty, so here we are on the shop. And as you can see, we already got more repeats. Uh, this time, half of them are repeats, which is quite ridiculous, man. You would think for a free-to-play game, they would offer something new and stuff like that to keep the interest high and keep people coming and stuff. Um, and it's just, I don't know, man. I mean, at this point, if they're going to like do repeats, just make a whole freaking catalog where we could purchase, you know, look through it and purchase what we want. Like, man, it's just ridiculous how these slots get taken up by repeats when I, I want to see something new, you know, I'm not going to spend my money on a bundle that we've seen before that I already didn't want to spend on. Uh, you know, I would rather spend my money on a new bundle that I think is way better. You know, it just blows my mind. Okay. But anyways, rant out of the way I guess for now uh, let's take a look at the first bundle here which is a repeat and this is the sea locks armor set we've seen this one before I think this was towards this might have been the actual first bundle we saw in the first week of uh, the season 2 stuff I'm pretty sure it was but anyways let's get into it so we got the scout helmet which is called sea locks now uh, you get a coating I'm gonna breeze through this one pretty fast just because we've already seen it but uh you know, it is still the weekly shop, and I want to keep you guys updated, so I'm still going to showcase this stuff. So we got an attachment, a visor. Uh, we also got a chest piece and some shoulder pads. Of course, these are the same, so I don't really want to show that. And then we got a glove, which, I mean, is nice, I guess. And we also got some uh, knee pads. And, of course, some emblem stuff. So we got Fireteam Crimson. Uh, the nameplate, you know, the weapon emblem, and the armor emblem, all that stuff. Now let's move on to the second repeat, which is Perfect Sublimity. This is a cool effect. Like, I do think this is a cool effect. But, uh, I don't know, man. I mean, really, we got another repeat. I mean, come on, dude. I just want to see something new in the shop that I could, you know, spend my money on. Uh, possibly, anyways. But, uh, yeah, you know, we got 500 credits for this. Uh, I, I just don't think it's worth 500 credits. If it was like, if it was like 200 credits, I would buy it, but I just don't think it's worth it. Cool effect, but not, I don't think it's worth my money. I forgot to mention, Sealock's armor set is 1,200, um, and yeah, I just don't agree with that price either, but, uh, at least it's more fair than previous armor set bundles we've seen, so there's that at least to look towards. Now let's move on to the actual new bundle we got here, which is the Cambodian set. Uh, yeah, pretty cool helmet. You know, it's got a skull visor. It's uh, just like War Master, except, you know, it's taken up a notch, and you can actually see the skull a lot more. Uh, and this is for the Rakashasha core, um, which is nice, because I don't think we have many stuff for that core. So we're starting to get more stuff for it. And it also comes with attachments, so it comes with this, like, weird bird-looking attachment. At least it looks like that, in my opinion. But, uh, yeah, we also got this uh, visor thingy on top. It looks pretty cool, I guess. Uh, and we also got this night vision kind of thing. I don't like this one, but, uh, because it just kind of ruins the purpose of the helmet. You don't get to see the skull face. So I think that one's kind of lame. A cool attachment, just on the wrong helmet is what I'm trying to say. And it also comes with emblem stuff. So we got nameplate, you know, the usual stuff, armor emblem, weapon emblem, uh, you know, blah, blah, blah. Uh, you know, not too bad. 700 credits. Uh, I don't, I don't know. I, I just think it's kind of a boring bundle. Like the attachments and stuff is like, I don't know, man. I would have preferred like a more traditional bundle where you get like a helmet or you get a attachment, you get a chest piece, you know, you get a piece of like everything. This one's just all about the helmet. Um, but at least the price is somewhat more fair, right? I just don't, I'm not too intrigued about it. Uh, you know, cool helmet, but I'd rather have like other stuff than just attachments is my point. So that one's somewhat more fair, um, just not too interesting in my opinion. On to the last bundle, we got Old Iron Stone. Now this is a new bundle as well, and this one's just vehicle coatings we got for the Mongoose and Gun Goose. Um, yeah, I mean, nothing too special about it, you know, pretty cool coating, I guess. Uh, you, you get it for 200 credits, so that's really not that bad. I think this is the most fair bundle, for sure, uh, 100 credits for each coating pretty much yeah fair bundle 
all right well that wraps up this week's shop let's go ahead and look at the ultimate and man i got a lot to say about the ultimate of this week i really do all right so here we are on this week's ultimate reward and holy smokes man this is literally the same ultimate reward we had at the beginning of season two I believe season two, the beginning or somewhere around there. I don't know. But the point is we're we're at the point where we're getting freaking repeat ultimate rewards. Like what the hell, man? Like I'm sorry, but like what like how do how do they not have anything to offer in a free to play game where your mo your money comes through cosmetics and just stuff like this is like mind blowing to me. Um like do they not like, I'm just so confused. Like, I'm just getting mixed signals here. Do they want money or do they not want money? Uh, now, this one, granted, of course, you don't get through, you know, buying and stuff. But, like, you know, this keeps, like, player retention. And if you just get the same ultimate reward, no one's going to want to grind for it. People are already not liking the ultimate rewards. Getting a repeat is already bad enough. Like, oh, my goodness, man. Like, like I don't even want to grind for this. I feel like they just put this in here no matter what because most people are going to grind for it anyways, right? Because we got an event going on, so people are going to be like, well, I might have to get it anyways. So, like, it's just weird, man. Like, what the hell? It's just like, I don't It's just, it's whack, man. It's like they're saving actual new, like, different ultimate rewards for other weeks. And they're like, okay, well, everyone's going to grind this one anyways because we got an event. So, let's just throw in a repeat there. So, you know, because people are going to do it anyways. We might as well try to save ourselves, like, a few cosmetics so we could use it for other weeks is, is the way I'm looking at it. It's literally what it feels like. Like, what the hell, man? And you may be saying, well, this is good for people who missed out and, didn't, and weren't able to uh, get this stance or whatever. And, yeah, sure, that's cool and all. But, like, can we at least have something for the players who already have it as well? I mean, they could just literally give us, like, 500 credits or something like that instead uh, for people who already have it. So that way, you know, it, like, it just doesn't make any sense, man. Now, I'll be honest with you guys. I don't know the ultimate challenge of this week. And, you know, I'd have to grind through everything. Because for whatever reason, I can't see what the ultimate challenge is until I complete every other challenge. Which is ridiculous in itself. Well, that concludes this week's uh, update on the shop and the ultimate reward. Let me know what you guys think. I'm pretty upset about this. Um, I just, I don't know, man. It doesn't make any sense how this game is just... I don't know, dude. I don't know how anyone could, like... It's crazy, man. I don't know.